I'm working in Anime Studio 11, and I'm concentrating on the hand of the superhero character. Let's zoom in here. I'm just going to use my mouse wheel to do that. And as you can see, I need to go in and readjust the size of this hand to make it match the arm. Well, that's no problem. I can come over here and grab my transform layer tool and let's just go in and adjust the size. So about like that, I can bring it in and come up and try to get it to where I need it to be. And that's pretty close. What I wanna show you here is when you do these things, you are altering the line width of this object. And if I just deselect here, you can see this pretty clearly. The line width of the hand is thicker compared to that of the arm or any other part of the body. And that's because when you go in with the transform layer tool and when you resize a layer, whether you are decreasing or increasing the size, you're going to get different line widths occurring. That's just how it works. Now, this can be a pain because let's say you are trying to piece together an asset and you forget this and you go through, you resize some assets, you piece it all together. The next thing you know, your line widths are all messed up. Now you could go in with, let's say the select shape tool. You could try to select your hand or whatever object is giving you issue. You can see we have the stroke right here. We could then try to decrease the width of the stroke. But again, since everything else is at 1.5, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to go in and do that. And in the end, if you need to go back later on and do some edits, it can get kind of confusing as to which line width you should be using for which particular layer. Anime Studio 11 makes this whole process a lot easier. With your layer selected, all you have to do is go up to Edit and then Normalize Layer Scale. You can see now that the line is no longer as thick as it was. It matches the line width of the other layers, and that's because they all share the same line width. We're just bringing this layer back into a normal scale so that we can see its actual line width. And that's all there is to it. Just keep this in mind when you are building your own assets using different layers. If you'd like more information on Anime Studio or more tutorials, check out anime.smithmicro.com.